Good morning and welcome to today's Facecast. This is from one of the most famous passages of the Bible, a great passage in the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 11. It's a passage all about faith. Each verse, each passage begins with, by faith, explaining what faith is. Uh, the first verse says this, faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain about things that we don't see. So it's, faith is, another way of putting it, is trusting in something that we don't fully understand. And we exercise faith all the time, whether we are consider ourselves to be um, Christian people or even religious people or not. We go out and get in our motor car and we drive down the road and at a certain point we put our foot on a pedal and press a brake and we have faith that the brakes are going to work. It's not a blind faith because they worked yesterday and so they probably work again today. We might know the mechanism by which the brakes work and so we trust that they're going to work. But we didn't get out and examine them that morning, did we? We didn't get under the car and take the wheel off and check the brakes over before we got in it and drove away. By faith, trusting without fully knowing, we think the brakes are going to work. That's an example of what faith is. And in today's passage, which is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3, it says, By faith, we understand that the universe was formed at God's command so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. We understand that the universe was formed at God's command, so that what was seen was not made out of what was visible. So the elements that were present at the time, whenever that was, that made this earth, were one thing, probably from a Big Bang or whatever else you might want to describe, but the putting of it together and forming life on earth was a whole nother ball game. And it would seem that perhaps there was an intelligence behind it. The reason I say that is when one looks at the complexity of human nature alone, let alone the human body, let alone all the interactions of humanity with the world around us and all living things and how the world is self-supporting, if we allow it to be. If we look at the complexity and the beauty of it, it really suggests some other intelligence. Yes, I know science would want to say, natural selection, it's all down to natural selection. That's fine, that's a good scientific explanation. But those of us of faith would say that there's more to it than that. That doesn't set us up in opposition to the scientist. Um, I would believe myself to be an um, evolutionary creationist. And that is the two things come together, evolution and creation. Evolution explains how things work. Creation explains why they work. And God's input in all this is to explain the why of things, of why how things work. And so that we can understand our lives better and live them better. There's a lot in there, isn't there? It's quite complex. It's all good stuff. It takes a while to get our heads round and look at. But whether we are people of Christian faith or not, remember that we all exercise faith, trust in something that we don't fully understand. And so taking a step to exercising Christian faith isn't that big a step, really, especially when there is so much evidence for the belief in Jesus Christ, historical evidence. That supports that belief. Makes you think, doesn't it? People of faith, people of the Christian faith, are not people with their head in the sand, not people believing in some fairy story. They're people with their eyes fully open, believing in the evidence before them. Can that be said of everyone else outside of the Christian faith? Or are they shackled by what the world wants to tell them and have them believe? Plenty of there for all of us to be thinking about for today. Have a good day. See you soon.